What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and I'm here with Eddie Gordo, and I honestly cannot believe what I'm reading, I just had a big laugh, uh, but I shouldn't be laughing because it is kind of sad. I consider Eddie Gordo, he's a really cool, iconic Tekken character. A lot of people dislike him because of his this stuff, right? A lot of people dislike this stuff. Once you learn the matchup, uh, you'll notice that he takes gigantic risks all the time. And he doesn't have a sidewalk or sidestep. He is a very weak character. Again, I consider him to be the weakest in the game. And hats off to Yon Ding for actually using him in a top 8 in the top 8 at EVO 2022. That is a chad move where, when he could be playing Julia, but he is a genius with Eddie. But so, uh, I, I, day one and day two of a patch, I didn't really pay attention to Eddie. I looked at all of the other characters I really care about, but now reading the patch notes, it's like almost nothing happened to the character. Uh, he, he actually got like six different changes and it almost does nothing to help him. It is really insignificant stuff. So I think he's going to remain like the weakest character. And it's a shame considering how cool he is, you know, and he does the capo stuff. Uh, I mean, I'm, it, it, it looks like Lucky Chloe got more significant buffs. Uh, but it's just a shame. Uh, and that's a character that already was stronger than an Eddie, I think. Um, so let's look at the changes. So the most interesting change, in my opinion, is to his uh, capo backflip. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. So anytime you do that back backflip and you input four, he does this lay down, lay down kick. This is now plus 11 on block. It has this new stagger effect on block. So what this means, obviously, if you've seen this effect before, if I'm at the wall, whoo, plus 20 and I'm in negativa. Plus 20. So here, you know, I can do a 15 frame, so obviously completely uninterruptible. While, while my opponent is still, oh, what just happened? Oh God, try to sidestep Eddie, please. Uh, Sidewalking with Eddie, it's like being stuck in porridge. It's like... <laughs> so here, while he's still stuck in that animation, I can do a 15 frame wall splat, right? So that's pretty good. And you can mix that with everything else in negativa. You can do this low. You can take a big risk if you want to. Uh, so this is really cool. And obviously he can do one, two, zoom, zoom. So this means we can one do this right into plus 20 at the wall so this is something right it's certainly not mind-blowing or game-changing but it's a pretty interesting change of course you have this mix up as well so this is pretty cool and then they changed his rage drive in that the opponent is closer to you once it's blocked so plus 12 and you're right next to them to again apply a cool negativa mix-up. So, you know, that is something. It's not incredible, but it certainly helps. Uh, and now that's it in my opinion for like significant changes. Now it's, uh, I don't know, a bit quality of life stuff. We we can, can mention Downford for free here. Uh, and this is interesting because they buffed a lot of the characters we feel are lower on the tier list, like uh, Gigas, Yoshi, Chloe, etc, etc. And a lot of these characters got pretty cool counter it launchers, but for some reason with Eddie, they choose his low mid string here. But it's not a natural combo, right? It's a natural on counter hit, on block. Forces Crouch, minus 13. And this is in a game where quite a few characters launch at minus 13 there. But all characters now pretty much have a universal, you know, 13 frame, very hard hitting uh, while standing punish there. So this move is not very strong. So what we did was, oh, the second hit. Let's give that a counter at knockdown into a guaranteed 
I'm um, trying to space this into a guaranteed 444. Like so. I'm like this. I don't know, you give everyone else a really cool new counter it utility, like a counter it launcher. Like Yoshi's Ford 1 plus 2. Who really didn't need it, Yoshi in my opinion. But Eddie gets this? I mean, I, I'm trying to space this. Oh my god, could you key charge? Uh, this is... I mean, I, I'm waiting to hear from Eddie experts on this, but this seems extremely underwhelming, in my opinion. Uh, and then quality of life change. Anytime you do this launch, so you can do it raw, like this, no rubber, raw. You can do it from one plus two, and you can do it from this, up for three. The opponent stays closer to you on the launch. So not really game changing. I, I, did, I never saw any players struggle to get a combo from that. Um, and then his negativa 50-50, you know, if you want to go for the uh, big risk, big damage, high risk, high reward, you know, you have at this mid launcher and you'll mix that with the slippery kicks, this one. They slightly buffed the damage on slippery kicks. I think they went from like seven and eight or something to nine, nine. So it is a tiny damage buff. And I don't see how that does anything. <laughs> I don't know. They're still at minus 37 on block. For those of you who don't know, in tag two, uh, the slippery kicks would not stagger on block. He would go right through the guard, so you actually had to low parry that. Because if he did the whole animation, he would have immediately resorted to this stuff, and it was, it was cancer to deal with. Uh, I don't know, I feel like Eddie is still paying the price for how obnoxious he was in Tag 2. Lars also has paid a heavy cost for that. Uh, Eddie was complete AIDS in Tag 2. Uh, half a matchup, it's uh, half a matchups. It was the tag team of Eddie Christie, and they would do the back one four, which kill you on counter hit, hit confirmable, slippery kicks all day long, absolutely brain dead, 10 IQ. Um, yeah, I feel like he's still paying the price for this. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. These changes are. Super lackluster. I expected him to get more. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Like, there's been there, there has been so many seasons now, so many balance patches, and Eddie still just gets nothing. Uh, yeah, my heart goes out to Eddie mains. I just uh, looking at the buffs. It's like I was expecting more, and I'm not an Eddie main. I'm just. I feel like the character could be stronger. Look at that insane jab and down for one. <laughs> He's a beast. Uh, but so, yeah. Uh, moment of silence for Eddie Mains. May they rest in peace. <laughs> no. They will certainly get buffed very soon in season six of Tekken 7. Thanks for listening to me again. Have a great day.